26 now calls for a national quarantine. President Trump is pushing back against Nancy Pelosi and company, who, like good radical fascists that they are, are calling for a national lockdown, national house arrest over the Wuhan coronavirus. Truth is, like the Surgeon General says, effectively, a national quarantine is what we already have. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, I firmly believe that, that yeah, it, there should be a federalist response and, yeah, we need guidance out of the federal government, but it should be a state by state. I think it should be a county by county. You look at California, for example. There are big swathes and, and, and many chunks of counties uh, of California where there's virtually no penetration of the Wuhan virus. Then you compare that to, like, Santa Clara County, there's a lot going on there. This is why there can't and shouldn't be a national lockdown, a national quarantine. Plus, there's this pesky thing we call the Constitution, it would be unconstitutional. This raises so many, as you just mentioned, Graham, constitutional issues that literally have not been in the forefront of debate nationally for decades. You have a situation, as you pointed out, where there's Wuhan here and not there. And ironically, in some places where they've got tons of infection, like New Orleans, where they had the idiotic idea to stage Mardi Gras, they are blaming President Trump for tens of thousands of possible infections because the federal government didn't step over the state government and go right to the city of New Orleans to say, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to put 50,000 drunk people on the street for several days hugging, kissing, and sharing liquor bottles. So if it's an ab abrogation of local responsibility, I guess those people need to be told what to do. But by and large, the Constitution is right and should control. It's a state-by-state -state issue. And where the states do well, by enforcing the regulations, there's no massive outbreak. And when they are, well, dumb, like New Orleans, you've got a problem. And the federal government is not going to be able to fix stupid. Here's another stupid from Nancy Pelosi, but it's completely partisan and expected. And that is this so-called Blue Ribbon Commission to investigate the Trump response. I mean, I, I can investigate. It's not even going to take a Ouija board. It's very simple. While Congress was trying to impeach the 45th president of the United States, Corona was spreading. Can you believe that there's not only a blue ribbon panel that's now going to be run by Congressman Clyburn, who A, hates Trump, and B, has said this is a great opportunity to advance our agenda, which is progressive socialistic distribution of wealth. But get this, Adam Schiff is back and wants to use his House Intelligence Committee to investigate Trump again. Here we go. Yep. Investigation number four, all of which boosts Trump's numbers. It's suicide for the Democrats to make this political instead of getting on board. And Graham, you made the point of the century. While Corona was hitting the United States, Congress spent two months chasing Trump to impeach him, knowing from the get go it would fail. And what did we end up with? A massive right. billion dollar weekly loss to the American economy because Congress was occupied with impeachment. And maybe, just maybe, the Intel Committee could have caught this early and, and investigated what was going on in Wuhan instead of investigating the 45th president. Barry, thank you.